some of you are writing your questions to me uh, during the Academy on Facebook or Instagram or you're sending me an email. I can't, while I'm uh, broadcasting on the Academy, I can only uh, communicate via the Zoom. Or, so if you want to have a direct conversation with me, uh, please come to the Zoom and you can sign up through my website. And that's the only time I can communicate with you directly. Otherwise, if you're going to write your question to me as an email, I, I will get back to you. Uh, as long as it's not a long question and it's not too complicated, then I'll write back to you or you can write to me on Facebook. Uh, but sometimes I'm getting these huge, big questions. It would take me literally a day to answer it. So I can't. <laughs> And I want to communicate with you, but I can't answer those questions. You can ask me those questions verbally. It's easier to me to answer it. But I really do appreciate when you write to me. And uh, I don't want to discourage you from writing to me. It's just, it's hard for me to explain uh, some of things that may take a book to explain it. So, yeah, go ahead, Karen. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember if it was the the last academy. Maybe it was the last academy, and then you were talking. Uh, you were talking about something, and then uh, then you say, "Don't be the wounded he healer." You said right, uh huh. And when you said that, I I kind of uh, it's it was like a little bit like I froze, so I, right. I didn't really hear what you said. Uh, right. And then I was listening uh, to the to the recording, but I. I okay. I didn't. I didn't. Right. Try so to you make you want to know what I'm referring to? Yeah. What What do okay. you mean? Okay. As the wounded healer. Yeah, I've heard about yeah, the wounded right, healer, but I right. want to hear why you think that don't be the wounded healer. What, what do you mean? Right. What I'm referring to is that, and I've been there and I've done that. Okay, so this is again coming from direct experience because I, I was a wounded healer myself. So, and that's happening a lot these days. So if you go on... Facebook, Instagram, you're going to see a large number of people that are life coaches, they're healers, they're guides, they're teaching, but they're healing. But majority of these people, which I include myself, I used to be one of them, they haven't put the body of work on working on themselves. So they're wounded. They do healing work, they're life coaching, but most of the time when they're teaching things, they don't practice it themselves. The stuff they teach to other people, they need to practice it themselves, and they haven't. So there's a lot of emotional baggages or wounds that they carry and and, they, and the thing about this is that a lot of us want to cover things up unconsciously. And I had like hundreds, if not thousands, of people come to me telling me, Oh, Zarathustra, I want to be a healer because I want to help other people and I want to be like you and... And uh, I want this to be my career and I want to make a living from it. And this is all I want to do is help other people. But then when I get to know them a little bit more, I'm asking them questions. I can see like they got a lot of childhood issues. They got a lot of sexual hangups. They got a lot of ideas about concepts of how things should be. So there's a lot of work they haven't done on themselves. So in so many areas, they're wounded. 
And now they want to run around and teach other people how to, to be. And I'm not saying they're not helping other people because even though I operated as a wounded healer, I still helped a lot of people. But you are much more effective than when you have come to wholeness yourself. When you have worked on yourself and you have cleared a lot of your own stuff and now you can teach the areas that you have conquered on yourself, teaching it to other people. It's very easy to go out there and tell other people what to do. Oh, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, blah, blah, blah. But it's another thing is if you can demonstrate it, that you have done it yourself. And now if you have been able to accomplish it and you're teaching it, now your teaching comes from a direct experience. It's coming from the source and it's very powerful. That's what I'm referring to. I have several life coach friends. They're successful. Some of them are in TV. They're very, very good in teaching what they're teaching. From diet, from life coaching, from relationship coaching. But their own lives is totally a mess. It's a complete mess. Everything they're teaching, it's coming from this abusive place. Either they're abusing their partners or their employees, or they have this deep emotional wounds that they're operating from that place. They're very good in teaching, but they're not really living it themselves. <laughs> 